Now, there is a broader meaning of democracy. Why? In the beginning, I have told you that why we have this democracy. Actually, in our country, we have the representative form of democracy. What we have? We have a representative form of democracy. Yes. Now, what does that mean? Representative form of democracy, also known as indirect democracy. We choose our representative. I told you that nowadays every country is so large in terms of population and area. It is practically not possible for uh, the people to sit at one place and take decision. That is what we call direct democracy. Okay, but nowadays every country is so large in terms of area and population, so they cannot sit together and take decisions. So what we do, we does we choose our representatives and form the government, and those representatives they take decisions on our behalf. Okay, another is leaders are. Elected by the adult citizens, as I told you, adult means the people who are in our country 18 or above 18 years of age, they choose the people, okay. And leaders are elected by the adult citizen, majority is allowed to take decisions on behalf of the people, yes. We are not going to the, uh, we are not uh, going to the parliament every day. See, if people have time. Suppose, if people have time to take decision, then only they do not have the desire, they do not have the desire, they do not have the will or they do not have that training to take decisions. So, that task, that work of making policies, taking decisions on behalf of people is being done by those who are elected by the people. We common citizens, we choose our leaders and those leaders on our behalf, they run the government. So, that is why all the modern democracies, they are known as the representative form of democracies. Why? Because of the large population, practically not possible to sit at one place to take decision and if we have time, so, if we can, suppose if we can sit at one place, neither we have time nor the desire nor the training to take the decision and that is why, uh, that is why we believe in the indirect form of democracy. So, children what we have seen in this chapter, there are only few very basic things that we need to understand, very few basic questions that we need to understand in this chapter is that first what is democracy? That is the definition of democracy. Rulers are elected by the people and then the necessary conditions, these are nothing but the features. Another question, what are the major features of democracy? The four features, rulers elected by the people take major decision, yes, one person, one vote, one value. Rule of law and respect for rights, yes, and free and fair choice to the voters. These are the four basic features of democracy. And then we discussed another part, why democracy? Another question, very important question from this topic is, what are the arguments against democracy? What are the arguments against democracy that we have seen? That leaders keep on changing, creates instability. People, they just want to win the election. There is only competition and power play. No scope for morality. So many people are consulted. It delays the decision making. Sometimes the elected leaders might not be knowing the best interest of the people. So how can take the good decision in favor of the people? that is against democracy and then we have seen the points which are in favor of democracy. We have seen that democratic government is a better 
comparatively a better form of government. Why? First point that it is an accountable form of government. Second, the decision making, the quality of decision is improved because time is taken to take a decision is good for larger section of society and for long run. Third, democracy is a better form of government because it resolves conflicts and differences. Fourth, it enhances the dignity of the citizens by giving everyone the equal status. And last merit is that we can correct our mistakes in a democratic government. And that is why we can say that a democratic government is comparatively a better form of government. And then I told you about that what kind of democratic government do we have in most of the, in the modern world. I told you that we have the indirect, we have the representative form of democracy. Okay, In modern times, I told you the meaning of the word representative in that we choose our representative and those representative on our behalf take all major decisions. Yes, leaders are chosen by the people. Yes, because nobody can go to the parliament and express their views every day. Because practically, because of the large population in the countries, neither they have the place, it is not practically, physically possible to sit at one place and take decision and that is why we choose our leaders representative to take the decision. So, with that, we have seen some of the basic aspects of a democratic government. So, at the end, we can conclude that democratic government is comparatively a better form of government. Now, subscribe to Bright Duty course at Rs 1 per day only. Download Bright Duty app from Play Store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10. Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of Math, Science, Social Science, English and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright Duty follows three-step approach that is learning, assessment and exam preparation. In learning, topic-wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, topic-wise online MCQ test, practice assignments and chapter-wise question bank are available with the solutions. In exam preparation, previous year's question papers, sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions. Sign up today on Bright Tuesday and avail your courses at affordable prices.